Yellowstone National Park opened its Wyoming gates at noon today, but the Montana gates remain closed and now some business owners want that to change sooner rather than later. What's keeping the Montana gates to Yellowstone closed is the state's 14 day quarantine requirement for out of state visitors. Governor Steve Bullock insists it's working. We have the lowest hospitalizations and cases per population in the nation. So Bullock says he's unlikely to lift the quarantine until at least the 1st of June. Business owners say he should reconsider. We, we need to get open. We need to, uh, the virus is a terrible thing, but, uh, but, but we have to deal with it and uh, we, we just can't have the whole country go bankrupt. The Montana should take a, a closer look at what guidelines we have so that our businesses can get back to somewhat normal. We need to figure out how we're going to deal with the new normal because if you wait too long, you know, we can't exist. Park Superintendent Cam Shawley admits it's a tough decision. We're doing the best job that we can to reconcile divergent opinions on these issues with our partners. Shawley said he hoped Montana and Wyoming could agree on an opening date, but Bullock wants assurances that the park will be ready for the crowds. Including health screening protocols, a surveillance testing plan, the limiting of large gatherings and frequent cleaning and sanitation requirements. If they use the, the best practice, practices for mitigation and, and uh, keeping themselves and others safe, uh, we can move forward and there won't be any problems or minimal problems. But there's one step Shawley says the park just won't take. Uh, I will not put my staff at risk of having them attempt to socially distance large crowds of visitors who decide not to adhere to social distancing guidance. Business owners we spoke with agree that behavior of park visitors is the key to keeping it open. They say every business needs to impress that upon their guests. In Bozeman, John Shearer, MTN News.